55 years of friendship in Morocco. 55 years of friendship in Morocco. Hi, I'm Carrie Monaghan. Uh, I was a Peace Corps volunteer in Morocco from 2004 to 2006. And I was in Bulman, which is in the middle of Atlas Mountains, and I worked at a youth center, which is called the Dar Shabbat. And I'm um, Andrew Monahan. I was also in Bulman, Morocco from 2004 to 2006, and I worked in a uh, women's weaving cooperative. We live in Morocco again. Uh, after Peace Corps, we moved back to Washington, D.C. for nine years. We started our careers in international development, and we moved back to Morocco almost exactly ten years after we left, and we now live in Rabat, which is the capital. Um, I work at the U.S. Embassy uh, on an international development program focusing on education and land productivity. Um, I'm working in international development as well, um, more on the project management side with uh, USAID. We actually served in Peace Corps as a married couple. Um, so we started Peace Corps about five months after we got married and went to Bull Men in Morocco together. So we're very happy to come back together. We've actually been back quite a few times. Um, I went back, uh, went back and forth for a while uh, with my job after leaving Peace Corps. And since we moved back to Morocco, this is the third time that we've gone back. Uh, but we've only been going back once or twice a year since we moved back here because it's a bit of a hike to get here. Yeah, we've each been able to come back to Morocco for work, so I know I came back once separately and you've come back several times. Mm -hmm. And the first time I forced Carrie to fly me back <laughs> because I would have been extremely jealous. So. Mm -hmm. We're always excited to go back because we, it's kind of like our second home um, in Morocco and just in general because we are surrounded by people we care about. Um, we get to see our host family, who we're very close to and who we've stayed in touch with. Um, we get to see our students that we taught when we were here. I think the biggest challenge is we never get to spend as much time as we'd like to with everyone. So we kind of walk around town and we run into all sorts of people we would love to spend hours with. But we're usually only here for a short period because we have jobs and it's hard to get away. Yeah. So we, we never get to spend as much time with people as we'd like to. Very happy to be able to bring our daughter Lucy here um, back to see our host family and see a place that was very special to us and we're still very close to people here um, and for her to have such an amazing cultural experience and to be able to be um, in part of another culture, share food with people, um, be surrounded by another language. Um, I never had that experience when I was young so I think we're really happy to be able to share that with her. And for أنا سميتي خديجة حجيج كندير هادشي ديال الخياطة أنا كندير الخياطة سميتي إيشن سميتو مستشارة في تعاونية الحنبل كندير تانا الخياطة مع خديجة فاش كيجيو عندي البولمان ديما كنتفكر ملي كانوا جالسين معايا في الدار ملي كانوا جالسين معايا في الدار الصراحة كانت بيناتنا واحد العلاقة زوينة كانوا ديما انا كنت كنحسبهم بحال العائله ديالي بزاف وهما هكاك كانت عندي معهم واحد العلاقه كبيره وديما ملي كنشوفهم يعني كنفكر داك اللحظه اللي كانوا معايا في الدار كيشاركوني في الدار كيجلسوا معايا وبزاف كنت انا ديما كنا مطلقين معاهم خرجوا مبقاوش معنا هنايا بكل من ولكن بقات العلاقه حالي دابا انا وحنان مراد العلاقه ديما كاينه اتصال بيناتنا مزيان والحمد لله غادي نبقى معاهم ديما هكا يا سمارة. يعني بحال دابا كنحسبهم بحال خوتي واخا الدين كل واحد بالدين ديالو ولكن حنا كنبقاو بحال الخوت I think we drank more tea today than I expected to <laughs> I think it's honestly like just seeing them the people that we spent so much time with over two years, like during a really formative experience, you know, just catching up with them. It doesn't really need to be anything more than that.
Even though we live in Morocco, we probably don't come back here enough, but every time that we do, I just feel extremely happy. Um, and I feel it kind of brings me back to the time that I was in Peace Corps and to be able to share connections with people um, that I'm so close to and to be able to see those people grow and change over the years is really special. I think especially being able to see my students um, who were in high school when I was here and to see them married and have children and you know start jobs, it's really special to be able to see them grow and I felt that way again this time on our visit.